Once you've left the ship, you never know when you'll be back. So eat up while you still can. So we can sell. I want to see, or sorry, not sell. We do have a little bit of Sepeth mass to exchange. And we can buy ingredients and stuff. Ooh, special curry heals 8,000. But it's 3,000 each, and I still have weapons I have to upgrade. So, we're going to save all of our stuff here. Let's talk to Million. Uh huh. Got to tell you, I'm pretty dang excited to sneak into Ruhr. If you need a hand, I'm the girl to ask. Stealth is my and Lammy's middle name. I don't know about that. I mean, I am part of the intelligence division, and we sneak into places all the time. I bet you I'd be super handy. You make a compelling sales pitch. I'll give you that, but we'll see. All right, so we can't do anything else there. And we have got... Oh, this one's new, isn't it? Oh, this is... No, this is the computer room. No one's in the computer room. We've got the library. Oh, of course, it, Professor Thomas or whatever is in here. If you're traveling to anywhere else, you might have been able to use the spirit path to infiltrate it unnoticed. But animism has all but vanished from Ruhr and surrounding areas, so it's unlikely you'll be able to, to do that. I'll keep looking into ways you might be able to get near the town, but honestly, I wouldn't expect any easy answers. Okay. Thank you for that level of optimism, Thomas. All right. So we've got the health room, which it looked like Emma was in. And Celine. If we knew what sort of shape Ruhr was in, we might be able to get there with the transportation spell. But without knowing, we could very well expose ourselves to even greater danger than on, an on-foot infiltration. So all we can do is make sure that we have what we need and get in the old-fashioned way. Sure, you won't be able to rely on Valimar, but look at this battle as an opportunity. As strong as they are, knights can't do everything. Now you can figure out how to get by without it. He's been doing that. You won't be alone, Rain. You've got a very thoughtful, generous cat on your side for when the going gets tough. Aww. A very thoughtful, generous cat. All right, so this is the game room. No one's in here, apparently. And so... We had five people. Let's get started. Let's just play a game and see what happens, because usually it clears out. But Go on, draw a card. Because I think it's still considered the Guess same I'm day. Going first. Horse. Same score, huh? Want to redraw? Guess I'm going first. Bolt. Um. Oh, now you've done it. Same score, huh? Want to redraw? Same score, huh? Want to redraw? Guess I'm going first. Aw, one more game? <laughs> it looks like you win. You will be so lucky next time, though. Okay, so we look at it again. Yeah, so. We don't need to do that. So really, I need to go... to the hold. And we're gonna come over here and see George. Hello, George. Normally, Ruhr would be out of the ship's communications range, so Angie shouldn't have been able to contact us. I'm guessing she got her hands on some kind of Reinford-made gadget that expands the range of orbital waves to do that. Given that she sent us a video signal, she must have. Whatever she's got must be really cutting-edge tech. Not that it eases my worries, honey. Yeah, she's gotten herself into a real messy situation, all right. 
Shouldn't be all that surprising if you've ever come back after leaving her alone for more than five minutes. <laughs> so true. I have to admit, though, it was a real relief just being able to see her face. Sorry, George. We've got this. She's tough, and I'm sure we'll be able to get her out safely. Me too. I'm counting on you. But if you need me to do anything to back you up, just say the word, and I'll make it happen. How about we can... Shop and buy. Oh, yes, he only has this. We have to go to the guy upstairs first. Bad, bad me. We need to go to the one with a oh, range training. The third floor. Shop stack. And I think it's up here. That's the rest. That's the storage. So, nope. Of course, as always, I went the wrong way first. Here's Machias and Elliot. So we're taking the courageous to Ruhr, huh? Kind of reminds you of when we went there in a field study, doesn't it? It does. Crow was with us back then, too. Yeah, so we're headed for something way more serious than a field study this time. We'll really need to be careful. Agreed. We can't shy away from going, though. Alliance stronghold or not, saving Elisa's mother and Angelica is worth the risk. Back during our field study to Ruhr, our minds were practically always on the Academy Festival. We don't have the luxury of distraction this time around, though not with what's at stake. Okay, Elliot? Ah, here we go. Up here, we've got the armory. Let's see what he's got. You guys sure are brave. I don't think I'd be able to sneak into a major alliance stronghold like this. Just make sure you're ready for anything before you head out, okay? If you need new weapons, I'm the guy to ask. Okay, so we bought some stuff. I accidentally bumped my mic up a little too high and just realized it. So now we can sell the weapons that we don't need right now. Okay. And let's come back up. So we bought Reens. Guys was fine. Elliot, we got his. Um heat hazes. We got that for Fee. Oh! There's a spear for Gaius. Alright. Equip. Guy up. Oh, Gaius. So... Arabesque. 
Let's see if there's any items. Moist pumpkin cake. I really don't want to sell any of my foods. We can sell the smoke grenades. We never use those. Pierce out down, pierce confused, faint, petrify, freeze. Yeah, I don't see anything here that I would get rid of. And we've got our ingredients. And the only thing we could buy is a titanium coat. Yeah, I'm not real happy about that. Alright, so... Hmm. Wrong button. Just looking to see what's in here. Analyze Saintly Force Mind. Nothing in the there. What a bummer. We need to go earn some more money, apparently. Now we can go back to the hold. Go see George. Customize weapons. Customize. That one's fine. Sun Sui. We don't have Sun Sui. We didn't get to get her bow. And then we need to buy these. So there's like, what, three? What, well, four? That we need to get yet. Um, modify. I don't think there's uh, money. Seppeth. Apparently there is. Let's check everybody else. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we're back to rain. Kinda bummed that I can't do the other things I wanna do. Um oh Eustace was over here. I just wanna see what he has to say. Supposedly Marquise Rogner helps train the Norse provincial army himself. What a militarily minded man. Unlike father, he shows no interest in the Alliance's internal power struggles, but we should still be cautious. Neither is Valimar for that matter, but I imagine he will have his own role to play in aiding us. Should he not be able to, make sure you're ready to carry out the task at hand, even without his assistance. Well, yes. All right, so let's go to the bridge and save now that we've done all the weapon stuff. All right, and let's go talk to Toa and her. Oh, there's Elisa. Hang on. We're going to go talk to Elisa. She is our girlfriend after all. What in the world is happening in Roar? 
I hope Mother and Angelica are okay. Elisa, I think those two are the last people you'd need to worry about. We just have to believe that they're going to be safe for now. You're right. They're too tough not to get through something like this. But that doesn't matter. I'm going to do what it takes to save them anyway. And I'll be counting on you to help me make that, hap that happen. With pleasure. All right, so that's all that he has to say. There, they have to say. And you know what? I think I'm going to remove Reen's headgear for today and talk to Toa. It was great to hear Angie's voice again, but now I'm worried about her for an entirely different reason. It sounds like she's in real trouble back home. Just leave her to us. We'll find her and bring her safely to the courageous. I think we're the only ones who can, to be honest. Not that I'd like to force that task on anyone else. Thank you, Rain. Even if I can't do much, if you need any backup, I'm the girl to call. All right, so organized party. So we're locked with Milliam. So we'll take uh, Gaius is a level 81. We're going to swap. Elliot's a little bit higher than Emma right now. So we're going to sw swap her out. Fee's a level 80. We always take Fee. We're going to take... Well, if I want to be fair about it, I'd take Machias because I'm not swapping out Fee though. I'd have to take Machias instead of Gaius. I don't really like that and stuff, but I can put him on the backup team. Commence operation. Ruhr is the capital of the Norsha province and one of the Alliance's greatest strongholds. Make absolutely sure you're ready to go before any, or eh, you're ready for anything before we go. Choosing to commence the operation will cause the main story to advance and Elisa will become a mandatory party member. Doing so will cause all unfinished quests to disappear. Continue preparing. All right, I wanna look at something. Of course, I passed it. Oh, we have the recipe I forgot. Comforting cappuccino. We can make eight of those. We only have one. So let's do one sure. for Machias. He has the winky face. <laughs> sure, I'd love to. It looks great if I do say so myself. New royal cappuccino. Sure, I'd love to. It looks great if I do say. I wonder why she didn't get the crown. Okay, we want to cook one it's with like B. Cooking power hour. So maybe we get the bad one. Yay, it's ready. Nope, she got the good one. I could certainly use the practice. Not bad. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna get this bad one right now. Just a feeling <laughs> sure, I'm getting. I'd love to. It looks great if I do say so myself. Mm, this looks like it'll taste. It's Fee's cooking power hour. Better than expected. A Kaiser burger. Don't blame me if you croak. Death tolls in the thousands. Sure. 
Sure, I don't mind. Let's pretend this never happened. It's funny. All right, so we've got five. Sorry, three. It's Fee's cooking power hour. Better than expected. Kaiser Yay, Burger. It's ready. All right, let's see what else. We can make one cheese omelet. It's Fee's cooking power hour. I might use some of that money that this I have left to go specialty. buy some more ingredients. Okay, let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. <laughs> well, how about that? So, when I can, I try to buy a bunch of ingredients because it's cheaper to make the foods than it is to buy. Um, it goes through the mirror really quickly, though. All right. So we can get some honey syrup and yeah no we've already talked about it I hit the button by accident all right notebook seafood peel off anything past that more comforting cappuccinos one we can make one <laughs> sure I'd love to <laughs> sure I'd love to it looks great if I do say At least that's one thing with this game. You don't have to worry about your inventory management too much because you certainly use the practice. Like with Skyrim and our other games, your characters can only carry so much stuff one. as far as that, and then if they get overly weighed down, they can't even move. Um I could certainly use the practice. So they're carrying a lot of things. Uh -huh. I'm what? proud of this one. Can make five. I could certainly use the practice. I could certainly use the practice. <laughs> that came out rather I'm proud of this one. Okay. Let's see what else. We've got some more cheese omelets. We can make eleven. With fee. It's fee's cooking power, power hour. Better than expected. This one's my specialty. All right, and that's it. One more safe since I made all the foods. All right, we'll go back to the bridge. And now we have to make our party again. Because I forgot we, since we were going to Roar, that they were probably going to make us take Elisa. And... Lisa's going to go in place of Machias. Men's operation. Yes. I already read this. I'm not going to re read it again. Hey, Ethan. How are you tonight? We can begin at any time. Right. We'll gather everyone in the conference room then. I'll explain exactly what we're going to be doing. Once all of Class 7 had gathered together, they were given a briefing on the operation that would take place. However, during their discussion, one point became abundantly clear. Flying the Courageous close to Ruhr would be far too dangerous. Yeah, think? Hmm, pretty good. Just playing some Mega Man. Uh, watch, watching some... Cool. Well, I'm glad to have you. Welcome. Let's see. 
Unsure as how to proceed, they opted to consult someone more familiar with the region. Have you played this game before, Ethan? Infiltration of Ruhr. I know my stream title, I tried to change it because I forgot to change the, the game. Uh, it might be saying Phasmophobia instead of this. Um, mm. It sounds like oh, you'll have cool. no trouble getting into the Nortia I love talking to other least. people who play these games because this is the first time through for all of them for me, so. I don't think so. The problem is getting into Ruwer City itself, or even close to it. Mm. We can't exactly just take an airship through the airport like we're on some pleasure cruise. <laughs> and approaching the city along any of the highways is a surefire way to get arrested. Not that there are any good places nearby to land the courageous in the first place. And that's why we're calling you, Gwyn. You wouldn't know of any other ways for us to get near, would you? Not Gwyn, he wouldn't know anything like that. <laughs> you came to the right person. I happen to know the perfect way. You do? You know that Spina by road to the west? There's this little stream that runs along it. Yep, been on it a few times. I used to fish in it all the time back in my younger days, I'll have you know. Trails was recommended to me by my friend who is a fellow streamer and an, also an affiliate. She's the one who inspired me to start playing um, because I played, but I didn't stream. So she's the one who got me started. Um, but she plays, she's on game four. I don't think she's finished it yet because um, she plays multiple games too, like I do. Um, but she recommended it and I love it absolutely love it and I've had kingdom kingdom hearts recommended to me several times um, and it's on my list I don't know when I'm gonna get to it because it's gonna take me a while to get through all the legend of heroes and trails games because um, there are all the main ones and then all the kind of side games too so that's awesome and if you don't mind me asking, if there's no, if it's possible, can you hit the cute little follow button for me? That really helps me out. Just saying. You know I have to ask, right? As it so happens, you could trace its source all the way back to the mountains of Ymir. You already have? Oh, I didn't get a notification yet. Cool. Thank you. Hold on. Yeah, neither of my feeds are updating, so I, I didn't see it. Thank you. So you're saying we should sail down from Ymir to Roar? Do we have a boat? Uh, exactly. Grandpa has a boat. It won't be the smoothest ride you've ever taken, what with the rapids and all, so mm. you'll need to be careful. But I'd still say that taking that is your best bet for sneaking as close to the city as you can. Oh, okay. I, you know, I know, noticed um, my count went up and everything, but I haven't actually looked at the actual list for a while because I've been like editing stuff that I've played on uh, the first offline uh, and just recorded it because of the protest day that Twitch people had. Um, so that is being edited onto YouTube content, but um. Yeah, I haven't looked at that list in a little bit, so thank you. I'm so glad. It sounds promising, at the very least. If we're going to take Grandpa's little tiny canoe type boat, I'm going to die laughing. You subscribed? Oh, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. And you get the September special, too. It's just like being in a spy novel. 
And if you notice that I was being silly and put some of the you would know characters in their spies, fun costumes. You? I'm glad to have you. Thank you so much. Should we make our way to Ymir then? Let's I took Rain's glasses and his uh, can only get so many earphones on off because I felt like I needed to see his face today. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help, Grandfather. Oh, think nothing of it. What kind of man would I be if I didn't help my adorable granddaughter in her hour of need? And try to set her up with another boyfriend. And I never want to pass up a chance to put my less than adorable daughter in <laughs> my debt. Ouch, Grandpa. Sounds like my number one protege is in a bind, too. I can't very well have anything happen to our wanton womanizer. Oh, that would be cool. I didn't even know he was up for a possibility for that, but he would be a great Smash character. <laughs> we'll help Angelica however we can. Take care, all right? Well, we'd go with you if we could. Unfortunately, someone's got to stay and look after the courageous. And then there's the whole boat issue on top of that. <laughs> Please, do what you can for Angie. Do it for Angie, people. Do it for Angie. This is true. You're right, Ethan. For Anybody me, is possible. For George and for Crow. It's possible. And my daughter, she thinks I'm mean because I won't forgive Crow. I'm like, well, they have to redeem him first. And I haven't seen him be redeemed. And I don't know if he will be redeemed or not because I've never played it. So... I'm holding off on that until I see proof that he is redeemable or not. We will. 